Okay, our brochure today is a modified trilobite by Pinoy Paracordist 21. Okay, let's start with quartz facing. Between 1 and 2 is A. Between 2 and 3 is B. Between 3 and 4 is C. Between 4 and 5 is D. Between 5 and 6 is E. A. B, C, D, and E. Okay, this is the modified trilobite. Um, I already explained that it's six strand core. Um, it's best to use uh, another color for the core. It brings out a lot the knot. Um, I did it one solid color. It still looks nice, but it doesn't look as nice as without a core. That's a different color. I already did the first knot. Um, for the majority of you guys, it's going to be a buckle, so it's going to be a lot easier. But I wanted to set it up. I basically did um, the first part of the knot. Um, nothing special, which you'll see the whole knot now. Okay, so let's start. Um, we're going to grab our left cord. We're going to go under the core, out through D. down through A and underneath the loop. So it's going to look like that. Okay, so we tighten up. Pull the cord coming out through D and then pull the slack. Okay, right cord. Same thing, we're going to go underneath the core, out through B, and then down through E and in through the loop, which would be under the cord. Okay, pull the cord through B and then pull the slack. Okay. Okay, for the first part of our knot, we went under the core. Now we're going to go over the core. So we grab our left cord. We go over the core, down through D, and out through A. And we're going to be above the left cord. Now for this pull, you're going to pull to the upper left corner. So you're going to go like that, and then just tighten a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to grab our right cord. We're going to go over the core, down through B. Up through E and above the cord on the right. And once again, we're going to pull to the upper right corner with the right cord. Okay, that's our first knot. Let's do our second one. Grab our left cord. We're going under the cord this time. We're going to go out through D and down through A. And we're going to go below the cord on the left. So it would be inside the loop. Okay, now we pull our cord coming out through D. One of our pulls. A little bit tight. Now pull the slack. Okay. Now we grab our right cord. We're going to go underneath the core, out through B and then down through E and under the cord or through the loop on the right. Okay, once again we do our pull. We're going to pull cord coming out of B. Tightens up the loop on the right and then we pull the slack. Okay, now let's continue. Now we went under the cord, now we're going to go over the cord again. So we're going to go over the core, down through D, and out through A. And remember, it's above the left cord, or the loop. And then once again, we're going to pull to the upper left corner. Uh, 
Okay. Grab our right cord. We're going to go underneath the core, out through B, and down through E, and above the cord on the right. Okay, we're going to go over the core, down through B, and out through E. Then we're going to pull above the cord on the right. And we're going to pull to the upper right corner. Okay, there we go. Let's do one more knot. We're going to go under the core this time. We're going to go under the core, out through D, down through A, and remember it's under the cord on the left, so it's through the loop. Okay, now we pull our cord that's coming out through D, which cuts a lot of the slack, and now we pull the slack. Okay, grab our right cord. We're going to go under the core, out through B, down through E, and under the cord on the right through the right loop. Okay, now we're going to pull the cord coming out of B. Get the slack out. Now we pull the other cord for the slack. Okay, now we're going to go over the core again. We're going to go over the core, down through D, and out through A. Under and out through A and above the cord on the left. And remember we're going to pull upper left corner with the left cord. Grab our right cord. We're going to go over the core, down through B, under and out through E and above the cord on the right. Okay, and we're going to pull to the upper right corner. Okay, so here's our finished bracelet. I'm going to take it off the jig.